quick lineup for Cavalier. Jaden White in goal, Giovanni Len, Kyle Ming, Gidel Irving, Richard King, Adrian Reed, Dwayne Allen, Dwayne Atkinson, Orlando Russell. And let's have a quick look at the formation here. They have a back four of Irving, King, Ming and Leng. Three in the middle of the park, Reed, McCleary and Allen. And up top, Dwayne Atkinson, Orlando Russell and Ainsworth, Christopher Ainsworth. Always a threat on the left flank is, uh, the left wing is uh, Dwayne Atkinson as he's returned from loan. Here's the Arnett Gans lineup. Asher Hutchinson in goal, Gerald Neal, Shane Watson, Philander Wing, Roshane, Roshan Amos, Marlon Martin, Jamon Shepard, Jane Thomas, Fabian Reed, Warner Brown, and Rashiki Kelson who had a goal in the last encounter against Treasure Beach. Here's their lineup. It's a four. One, two, three, you could call it that. Or you could also call it four, three, three. But Phil on the wing as the left back, Gerald Neal, Shane Watson, the central defenders, Rashawn Amos. At Five o'clock kickoff in sunshine. And it started early. Kyle Ming getting on the end of a Dwayne Atkinson corner kick. And the header was on target at the Hudson. Hutchinson couldn't do anything about that one. And Kyle Ming didn't have a lot to do on that one. Beautiful ball from Ainsworth. Taken down nicely from Atkinson. Slip pass from Allen. And he converted at the near post. His first of the season. Dwayne Atkinson returning on loan. Showing his value. Was in Iceland. But he's in Ireland now. Feeling Irie. This was the first half, and Orlando Russell, what a strike. What a save, though, from Hutchinson. He took it down nicely. Here we get another chance. A header from Ain. It was from Leng, and then followed up by Ming. A double save from the goalkeeper. Warner Brown would get this chance straight to. His former teammate at San Andrew Technical, Jaden White. Ball lifted in the area. It fell to Kelson. His shot was tame, easily handled. And this one was swung across with pace. And all he had to do was head it on target. But his positioning was poor, Fabian Reed. That one struck the upright. Certainly had the better of Jaden White, but the upright saved him on that occasion. Roshan Amos, shown red for that coming together with Jalmara Calvin. Was a bit harsh from Adet Hamilton in my book. Here's long ball played forward. Philander Wings header was poor, but the first touch and the finish from Shanil Thomas was first grade here's another look at it got in the center and then went in the diagonal beating Hutchinson in goal waving the flag of Cavalier it didn't make sense for Hutchinson it made sense for him back to back goals for Shanil Thomas Back-to-back -back wins for Cavalier. Three goals ahead of Arnett Gardens. The full-time match statistics. 11 shots on target from 16 attempts for Cavalier. Four from 10 attempts for Arnett. Certainly consistency and accuracy for Cavalier. 24 fouls, 12 for each side. Two yellow cards shown to Leng and McCleary. One red card to Amos for Arnett Gardens. 14 corners, eight of them to Cavalier. Two offsides they had as well. Eight saves made by Hutchinson, four made by White. Arnett Gardens with the line share of the possession, 52%. But they're on the losing end today. Cavalier beating them three goals to nil. Dwayne, before we get into today's performance, first of all, welcome back. You spent some time away from the Jamaica Premier League applying your trade in Iceland. Tell me what that was like, playing in another culture, in another climate for sure. 
Well, it was a difficult time me um, in me um, in Iceland because. It was so cold, I couldn't manage certain time. My told them was burst and um, busing and it was just hard for me, but I still have to just keep training hard and just do what I have to do. And of course you would have learnt a lot. Um, how much does that means now to come back to the J Jamaica Premier League from a different perspective and do what you did tonight, a goal and an assist in your first start back? Well, I'm feeling very great you know that from playing football um, without playing football for three months and coming back now with a goal and is mentally ready for this one. So I've just come again and keep building on the tally, tally, tally and keep scoring. After being a headache for Annette Gans in the first half, we saw 10 minutes into the second half you came off. Um, talk to me about that. Why was that? Was there an injury? Is there an injury? No, didn't fit in off for now. So yeah, can't finish the game. But I was going on a far away, yeah, we get there and just you know, say 100% ready. And what you see from Cavalier so far this season, you coming back into the fold, do you think that this Cavalier team has what it takes and you have what it takes to go all the way? Well, as I say, uh, if we just keep trying, trying, fighting, fighting, not fully unjudged, we know that we want to reach, we want to reach, because more we need to keep the ball and stop rushing the game. But as I say, we need to go back to the um, training ground and regroup and come back again. All right, Dwayne, keep working hard, keep working on your fitness, get some rest, recover fully, and we'll see you next week. No problem, thank you very much. Dwayne Atkinson there, our man of the match, player of the match for Cavalier with a goal and assist. They are number 10, busy.